All right, in this recording, I'm going to show you how to bring in your voice. Now you can just do a screen recording. I've got uh, QuickTime Pro. I think you can just do a screen grab or a screen movie and convert it out using Premiere or something and export out as a wave sound. I think you can use uh, probably um, MB3. That's, that was an old way of bringing sound into my but now you can bring in wave sound, which is great. So uh, one of the problems I did have, uh, if you can see right here, I'm gonna drag into this MP3 and it, right, off, right off the bat, it says warning. <laughs> so Maya hates uh, numbers. So I had to actually take out uh, that too to get it to work. So anyways, uh, try your MP3 or wave file. I, had luck with the WAV file. I guess that's the new format now. So when you drag it in there, you should see this timeline. You actually don't see anything for the first couple seconds. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in 100 frames, and you can start to see uh, the wave line form. And I would go ahead and uh, test it again. Uh, make sure there's no numerical data in there because uh, Maya doesn't like that. Uh, if you want to put down one spelled out. O-N-E, so. Well, hello and welcome to Oddfilm. Okay, so we've got my wonderful voice again. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you how to keyframe this real quick. So let's go ahead and bring our face front and center. And I don't have all my shapes in there, like A-E-I-O-U, like what you're gonna have, your extreme shapes of those mouth movements. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, key it. So you do have to have your uh, character selected. I don't think you have to have it one. I think it'll work uh, in the three mode. So what I'm gonna do is right here, I know his face uh, is shut, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit key all. And well, so I don't have too many shapes, I'm just gonna kinda use as much as I have here. And I'm using my scare just to get a little bit of movement. Hit key all. Okay. So if you had a longer word than well, uh, you would kind of sound it out and look at the mouth movements as you go through the word. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up with an E, more of an E shape. Key all. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and finish up. Now you can key these individually, but uh, since you're working in big uh, sections here. Let's go ahead. Well, hello and welcome. Okay. So it's pretty exciting. Well. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and key key all right in front of it. Kind of puts a keyframe so it doesn't go from one shape to another. So you want. I think it says hello. So I'm just gonna do all a key all. A little bit of eye movement. Key all. But hello. So if you had O, you would add a, a lot of O at the end. So I don't have O, I'm just gonna add a little bit more E. And a little bit more I. Okay. okay, so right here we want to bring everything down. Key all, hello, and and okay, I don't have anything to pull from, so I'm just making this up. Okay, so I'll close it up right here, right before he says welcome. All right, this is another project I'm working on, odd fill as well. So, welcome. So, I'm just gonna go full throttle at this all the way up. All right, go ahead and shut it all the way down because it's about to say two. All right, so I'm gonna hit key off. 
Well, hello and welcome to Oddfellows Hall. Oh, it looks just like me. All right, so uh, we're going to rewind it. Well, hello and welcome to Oddfellows Hall. All right, so you can see it's quite primitive in what I'm doing because I don't have a lot of movements to work with. All right, so when you're working on your shapes, definitely make sure they're exaggerated for A, and E, and I, O, U. So you have the flexibility to really broaden this out. You also want to work on the on the chin when you're saying this, like A and E. So it's just not the lips talking. Your jaw is talking too. It's uh, quite important that you put uh, some jaw movements in there. All right, so uh, good luck on this. Again, you want a lot of geometry or blend shapes to work with. So when you're animating this, you have a lot of toggle points. Uh, I would say at least have eight or ten of these toggle points so you can animate it. And also, you know, you're trying to go for that scare factor. All right, good luck.